homicides in the Duke City have gone down since last year. That's according to new data by the Albuquerque Police Department. Reporter Alyssa Munoz is live to explain what's helped so far. Yeah, Sasha, these numbers are from January to November of this year, and those homicide numbers are lower than not only last year, but 2021 as well. According to a new report, so far this year there have been 89 homicide victims compared to 112 last year and 96 in 2021. We asked police spokesperson Gilbert Gallegos what he believes is behind the decrease. The other thing we've been extremely aggressive, probably the biggest success we've had in, in targeting them ahead of time and solving crimes is dealing with social media. Uh, we have our digital intelligence team that we created a couple years ago. and. Um, these are professionals who really look at social media, look at uh, digital information from phones, phone locations. Out of 85 cases this year, 56% of those have been solved, meaning 65 suspects have been charged or arrested. APD says the leading cause of homicides this year is individual disrespect, which is a new category, and a majority of these homicide cases involved a firearm. That's the biggest cause, and that's just gone sky high since COVID. And it, that could be anything from you know, looking at someone the wrong way, leading to road rage, or, and it could be an underlying thing like a drug deal or some kind of social media beef or something. Both Mayor Tim Keller and APD Chief Harold Medina recently outlined priorities for the legislature to help with crime. Those main points include reducing gun violence by stronger gun penalties, working on closing the revolving door with a permanent fix to pretrial detention system, rebuilding the behavioral health system to include treatment programs and more options, and fund crime fighting technology and collaboration. APD says that they're going to continue to even work on traffic stops. The department believes that that's the most effective way to fight crime. Reporting in Albuquerque, Alyssa Munoz, KYT Action 7 News. Alyssa, thank you. Well, you can take a look at the report yourself. Head to our website and click on this story.